Happy spooky season! It's officially time. You guys know I am obsessed with Halloween, the self-proclaimed queen of costumes. <gasps> Nobody does it like me. So this year I thought we'd kick off Halloween with a haul. Get it? Halloween haul? <laughs> I'm the cheesiest bitch alive, I know, but you're gonna love it. It's gonna be iconic. Hmm. And I'll show you all the things that I bought for spooky season, because Lord knows it's me, and of course there's a lot. God, I love it. So what do you think, Friday? Should we get it going? Great. Let's see what we got. <laughs> this is literally so not normal. I don't know what's wrong with me. However, I have got literally everything you could ever need here. So let's see what we got. Oops. <laughs> <laughs> that, was, that was my foot, I swear. Let's start with the cat and what he's sitting on. Isn't this hilarious? I am obsessed with this. Sit there and watch the haul. Okay, let's see what's in this box. Oh, so much fun stuff. I guess let's start with this actually. Whoa, look at this. This is amazing. So these are real preserved roses. I just thought this was like the creepiest little Halloween decoration ever. Oh, so freaky. It's like freaky fairy tale, my favorite genre. Ooh, what is it? It's mysterious. <laughs> what do you think, George? Should we do some spells? <laughs> okay, so obviously I bought a crystal ball for Halloween. Like, I'm gonna set up a whole little, like, witching spell section here. I'm gonna turn my entire house into the Haunted Mansion for Halloween, so... Like, comment, subscribe to see the Haunted Mansion makeover. Y'all are gonna love it. What else did we get? I also got some floating candles. These apparently light up and then you can like dangle them from the ceiling. Like just imagine how freaky this is gonna be with these floating everywhere. I'll have to test these out and let you guys know how it goes. So insert clip. Oh, look how scary that's gonna be. Oh, these are gonna be iconic. Hopefully that worked well. <laughs> what is this? Oh, this is hilarious. <laughs> I got a little freaky black cat. This one's really crazy because it's like really actually looks so real. Like, ooh, look at that. <laughs> I'm actually so weird. I also got a white one. <laughs> Definitely adds to the freaky vibes. Speaking of decor, I'm like a damn Santa Claus with all the stuff that I bought at Michael's. <laughs> Like I got so much of this black garland, isn't this fun? Ugh, it's gonna be so good to decorate the piano with. Ugh, like you know, the loose vibes. It's gonna be iconic. Hmm. Dun, 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 dun. So aside of decorating the house, I also like to decorate myself. Like, hello, spank me. So I'm gonna do a little DIY of this. I bought these jeans at H&M. So I'm gonna do skeleton hands on the booty like that. So quick little back to my roots DIY. So you guys saw me do this on TikTok. Literally all you do is take your favorite jeans, this stencil, and then some white fabric paint. I got this on Amazon. Literally just spray painted it um, right onto the pockets and then voila! Isn't this so badass? Get it? <laughs> oh, you know I love a pun. Not me doing this on the side of the street. My life is really not glamorous, I swear. <laughs> Bring it around town. Amazing. Now that's delicious. All right, so speaking of a little bit of Halloween fashion, I got a bunch of other stuff. First things first, I randomly have this broom because that just makes great decor. Isn't that cute? <laughs> I love it. I used that for my witch costume last year, which by the way, all I did was buy this hat on Amazon and then literally just glued stuff to it. That's it. All of the stuff that I used for that is linked below. I literally have like a whole little shenanigan of like all my favorite costumes and everything that I bought. So that'll all be there if you want it. There you go. <gasps> These huge ass boxes. Okay, dun dun dun. -da. I think I know what this is. Yay. Dun dun dun. -da. I could teach an entire five course class on just angel wings. However, I'll try and make it short and sweet for this video, but here's an overview. So these are some of my favorite wings that Amazon has. George likes them too, apparently. These are just a really good shape and structure as a base. Like see, ta-da, these are a great, um, like I said, base for angel wings, but you can see how the edges of them are like, just a little crotchety. How you make the amazing wings is like this. 
You've seen me do this in full videos before, so if you wanna see that, you can watch those. But all you do is take base wings, buy some extra feathers on Amazon, grab a hot glue gun, and go wild. It is so easy and just takes your costume truly to the next level. You will be out in the streets looking just like a real life Victoria's Secret Angel. Like this pair and this pair are actually the exact same pair of wings, but do you see how much just like more luxe and nice that looks? Do you see George? He agrees. <laughs> like that just looks so much nicer and fancy. Ooh, so good. All of these are the exact same pair of wings with different feathers glued on them. This one was from my DIY Angel Renaissance costume and it's the same ones that I spray painted gold for the Greek goddess costume. Yeah, I love these wings. <laughs> P.S. There's also different styles of wings. These go up versus these giant ones, but you can see the base is more like butterfly-esque. Like these are just way bigger and more dramatic, but look how chic and sexy those are. Ooh. God, I love it. While we're on the topic of wings. These are the best angel wings, but these are my personal favorite devil wings. They just look so freaky realistic. Like I just, I'm really into these. You know I'm an angel all year, but October, evil. <laughs> These are the wings that I used in my devil costume a few years ago and this lingerie set, since a bunch of you were asking, there you go, easy peasy lemon squeezy. <gasps> so there we go, that's my wings masterclass. Um, let's see, what else did we get? So much stuff in here, oh no. Oh, this is actually hilarious. I thought these were huge for some reason. I don't know why I didn't read the measurements. In my head, these were like ginormous sticks. Note to self, read the measurements. Oh yes, some more decor. So obviously I got the little spider web guys because no Halloween Haunted Mansion decorating video would be complete without these. Or peacock feathers. <laughs> um, yeah, so this is just a pack of peacock feathers. I was actually a peacock for Halloween last year, so fire, but I actually think I'm gonna use these in some like little witchy themed flower arrangements. Like I said, I prefer like good witch pretty vibes. I'm not a huge fan of like horror looking Halloween. I'm more into the like pixie dust energy. Like I always say, good witch, bad witch. Um, da -bum -bum -bum. Oh. I just thought this would be a great Halloween decoration since you guys know that obviously I collect books for my library. So I got this one on Amazon, the good spell book. Love that. And duh. Thanks, baby. Hey, hey, hey. God, I love it. I didn't put. <laughs> wow, it was like those nightmares, God. <laughs> I didn't put any glue on these, so obviously they're not actually sticking, but these are my favorite fangs. They're just like very sexy looking. I'm really into that. They're very hard to keep track of, so I need to buy a new pair every year, but vibes. What is this? Oh yeah! <laughs> this is just like a little creepy black rack of feathers. Amazon wants you to use it like this, which while I'm not going to lie, is definitely a look. I use it like this as a very short skirt. Like you guys know, I usually just like to wear lingerie as the base of my costumes. <laughs> but when I do TikTok videos, I need to be a little more covered up because otherwise you get your videos taken away. So this is my like meet the parents angel costume looks, you know, conservative. What is this? I don't know. Oh God, these are parts to a candelabra. I don't want to deal with this right now. I'll put that together later, but I got this. Which when I'm not feeling so lazy, I will put together. Um, da -da -da. Okay. I got this giant lace tablecloth, which I thought I was gonna use as a rug for a video, but now that's not really giving. Or I could use it as a sexy ghost costume. Boo bitches. Ooh, like see, I'll just drape it over my little tables to make them freaky. Now that's decor. <laughs> Yo, Zoomies, George! Oh my gosh, you do! <laughs> uh oh. Meow! Go, baby, go! You're so entertaining. <laughs> I love this little guy. What is this? Oh yeah! These are the little white lace bats. Aren't these so stinking cute? Like I said, I always have troubles with Halloween decorations because like, I feel like most of them aren't pretty. They're scary, but I thought these were actually so beautiful. They come in white and black. I'm gonna do like a whole little mural of them. Like I'll probably have them flying around the walls like this. Oh, they're gonna be so cute. <laughs> these are just like creepy little white lace chunks. So if I just like drape these over stuff, you know? See, there we go. It's like the pretty version of a spider web. 
oh god, you want to talk about something actually kind of creepy that I bought? Ta-da! Oh my gosh, these are insane. Okay, so I actually bought um, <laughs> real taxidermy butterflies. Look at how beautiful these are. Ooh, they're kind of freaky, but that's perfect for the Halloween spirit. I'm gonna use these for decorating. Ooh, this one's beautiful. Wow, look at this one. Whoa. Ooh, he's super haunted. I'm gonna have to take these out, but I'm gonna put them on stuff like this. Ooh. Oh yes, I also got a couple of corsets. I just feel like these always come in handy no matter what. I always need these for like last minute costumes. Ooh, ooh, ooh. Like, you know, these just bang. No matter what you're being for Halloween, these are very sexy. I actually would probably just wear this as a normal shirt too. <laughs> But you know that's me, year-round crazy person. This is the little underbust one. <gasps> Damn, so snatched. Oh, these are actually just black bubble mailers for the jewelry. Ready, no, 333 and co, hello. I'll talk about this in a second, but yeah, I thought it'd be fun to put everything in black packages for um, witching season, you know? Get a little spooky energy in there, so. So fun. Um, anyways, speaking of the jewelry, we have a couple of fire new Halloween designs. <gasps> This is the one that I'm wearing, isn't it so cute? It's like a little gold diamond spider web. And then this one, I love this one. This one's like glam scary, look at this. Oh my gosh, obsessed. Like how freaky and fun is this? This one's a little scarier, but like still pretty. Gorgeous and spooky. <laughs> and then my personal favorite, the little snake necklace. <gasps> Do you guys see that? It's literally like a diamond snake. So creepy. A little sin for the sinful season. Also Taylor Swift reputation. Yes, aren't you guys just obsessed with her and Travis? <laughs> I have been grinning ear to ear since I found out about that. I don't know, I just, I have a feeling. I feel like this is gonna work. So cute. Got the little star moon necklace too. Hey. And the oh, but what if it does? Replica necklaces just came in. These are modeled after the real solid gold ones. Um, only 39 bucks, so limited edition. Those are on the website now too. So we got lots of fun stuff for you guys to shop. When you guys shop, it helps me shop and that helps me make more videos, so thanks. I think I'm gonna wear this for the rest of the video, so just to shake it up. Um, also, it is like 70 million degrees in here right now. So do you mind if I slip into something sexier? It's laundry day, so like, don't ask. But anyways, okay, back to the haul. We still have tons of stuff, so let's see. Oh God, this is another thing I have to put together. Ugh. I might put this together off camera and then show it to you guys later because like I said, I'm feeling lazy. The hell is this? Oh God, why does this keep happening to me? More candle of us. <laughs> oh, damn it. God, I guess I should at least put one together for you guys since I've opened 10 and not put any of them together. So I'll put this one together off camera in a minute. Time warp. Sure. Ta-da! Oh, that's gonna be fabulous when I actually put candles in it and make it scary. Okay, update, there was no reason at all for me to complain about this. It only took me like 10 seconds. I'm not even kidding, it was so easy. But, ta-da! <laughs> That's this guy, so creepy. It actually looks just like my railing. <laughs> fabulous decor. It's gonna be fabulous for the haunted mansion. Now we're back, look at that, the magic of editing witchcraft. Okay, um, so, let's see, what's next? I swear, if this is another candelabra, I'm gonna lose this in my mind. <gasps> It's not! Oh my gosh, this is something way weirder. <laughs> You're gonna laugh. Do you guys see? <gasps> what the fuck? This looks so real. Oh my gosh. Wow, I kind of am obsessed with it. Hi, little guy. Ooh. Like I said, he's for the haunted mansion decor. Should I just keep him up here around though? Just for the vibes? <laughs> I'm so eclectic, the Sky Castle is gonna slowly but surely turn into like a random crack house, I swear. <laughs> All my creepy little animals. <laughs> this is such a weird video. Oh boy, I hope you guys are at least enjoying this because I'm having a great time. Okay, this is probably something less weird. Or maybe more weird because it's me. Hey! <gasps> um, 
a glow-in-the-dark skeleton suit. George Biscuit Butt. Wanna try it on? Come here, what are you doing? <laughs> He's shy today. Okay, but wait, with the necklace, this actually is like, shockingly <laughs> Whoa, why is this actually kind of sexy? Okay. Woo! Oh, she's just skin and bones. Okay, so like I said, this apparently glows in the dark, so let's try it. Just filming all over the house today. Okay, this is the darkest room in the house. Let's check it out if it works. Dun, 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 dun. <gasps> Shut up! This is amazing! <laughs> Whoa! Oh my God, this looks incredible. Okay, um, well, this is where I'm gonna film this TikTok. Hell yeah! Bring it around to, oh man, I wish it had a butt. Being an adult, so fun. <laughs> okay, back to the haul. What in the hell? Oh! It's snowing a bit in here from packing peanuts, but I got this creepy little vintage phone to decorate for the haunted mansion. Ooh! So, let's, oh, well, <laughs> I guess let's open this, eh? Ta-da! So this is actually something for my Halloween costumes to come, DIYs, yes, on the way. If you can guess what I'm going to be based on this alone, I will personally like pay for your ticket and fly you from anywhere in the world to have dinner with me in the Sky Castle because there is no way anyone knows what I'm gonna be with this. But good luck guessing. You're never gonna guess it. It's gonna be so good. So yeah, that's your hint. Um, actually, a lot of this is probably costume stuff, but let's see. This is so heavy. What is this? Oh, it's my real crystal ball. Look at that. So this is the cheap, like, not real crystal ball version, and I don't know what y'all believe in. Maybe there's no such thing as a real crystal ball, but if there is, the closest thing is rock crystal. Ooh, look at this. So this is real solid rock crystal. This has, like, all sorts of crazy powers if you read into it, but I'm just gonna put this on this weird antique thing that I already had that seems perfect for holding a crystal ball. <gasps> Ooh. Oh. I love it. <laughs> okay. Um, shit, we still have more stuff. What? How long has this video been, you guys? 800 hours? Oh God, not more of the little pearl things that I thought were big. Okay, I might return some of these. I don't need this many of these. Oh, this looks very weird, but this is actually cheesecloth. And this is Mod Podge fabric stiffener. I saw these on Pinterest the other day and just was like, holy bananas, I gotta do that. So I'm gonna try and make those. So I got all the ingredients. Stay tuned again for the decorating video to see how it turns out. I'm sure that's gonna be a hoot just to even try to make them, but I think they're gonna be fire. Damn, this is the most like creepy looking packages ever. <laughs> Best wishes for you featuring scary bugs. Okay, so I actually think this might be more butterflies. Ooh, it, it wow. Oh, these are even more beautiful. Not me ordering another owl package. What's weirder than ordering one owl? Ordering two. Oh, it's so small. This one's so tiny. <laughs> okay guys, which one should I keep? Or should I keep both of them? Vote in the comments. <laughs> I could put him up there. <laughs> Oh, this is so funny. This is actually so on point for Halloween to have creepy frames with nothing in them. <laughs> uh, oh, and my shirt's inside out? Guys, you didn't tell me this whole time. <laughs> or actually, I guess you can't tell me because this is not real time, but <laughs> whoops. I should really start doing live videos. Would you guys watch that if I did like a live stream? I don't know. Maybe I'll schedule one. Let me know. And let me know about the owls. <laughs> Which freaky owl statue should I keep? Should I do live streams? Who knows? The vibes of my life are in your hands. Ooh, I also got this creepy old clock. I think I'm gonna hang this here. God, this is so scary already. <laughs> oh, yay! Don't laugh that I got 75 packages of these. Oh, these are pretty cute actually. Okay, so back to the Wings Masterclass. Quite frankly, I am a giant wing snob. These are actually the best fairy wings I have seen 
available for purchase um, just as is. They're actually pretty nice and very light and cute. I just want to be more extra and ridiculous. I love these like fairy Pinterest wings. So I'm going to like glue these together and do some stuff. So stay tuned. I'll do a full video about this at some point. However, you can see even just by putting two pairs on at once and flipping one of them over, it already looks way cooler and more unique. Oh, I got the black ones too, because honestly, I did a really crappy butterfly costume a few years ago and it literally haunts me. <laughs> so I want to redeem myself with the best butterfly costume you've ever seen. So I'm going to do a little something, something to these two to turn them into this again, TBD, but it will be on Instagram soon. So again, stay tuned. <laughs> Sorry, I opened this one off camera because it was really heavy, but ta-da! As if I didn't have enough random empty gold frames. There's another gold frame. Oh, look at that. Even this in the daylight looks freaky. This is gonna be so good. Okay, so I thought I would put these, I mean, again, somewhere in here. I don't know. <laughs> oh, these are, you know, these are actually kind of pretty frames. I'm not mad at them. That's gonna be so freaky. And I'll put an even creepier painting in there. All right, guys, and last but not least, I have been wondering what's in this giant box the entire time. So, let's find out. What in the world? Oh my god, a corpse. <laughs> this is so sc unnecessarily scary. <laughs> that was so perfectly scary for this video. I'm very on theme, but this is actually just, oh wow, me. <laughs> Oh, hello, work. Am I gonna get demonetized for this? Anybody? Um, but I got this because I need a mold for my Halloween costumes. So, like usually when I'm making them, I drape all the fabric on the mannequin and it's just very convenient that all the mannequins just happen to have basically my exact measurements. <laughs> so, now that I've made a giant mess, it's time to get to decorating and crafting. So like, comment, subscribe for all the vids. Spooky season kisses. <laughs>